Imagine a tiny invisible battle happening right now inside your stomach. A battle where the delicate lining of your stomach is under attack and the very medicine that you are taking to ease that pain might be making it worse. Did you know that a common painkiller could be sabotaging your body's ability to heal? Today we are diving into the world of ulcers, stomach linings and why that ibuprofen or diclofenac in your medicine cabinet might not be as harmful as you think. Stick with me for the next 5 minutes and you will uncover a surprising truth about your health. Okay, we are going to start with the basics. What is an ulcer? An ulcer is like an open wound. But instead of being on your skin, it's in your inside on the lining of your stomach or the upper part of your small intestine. So picture this, okay? Your stomach is this busy acidic environment that is constantly breaking down food with digestive juices that are powerful. These juices are great for digesting your lunch, of course, but if they start eating at your stomach's lining, then you have a big problem. That's what an ulcer is, a sore or a lesion that forms when the protective barriers in your stomach break down. Therefore, it can cause burning pain, nausea, or even bleeding in severe cases. Ulcers are often triggered by things like stress, like spicy foods, or a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. But there's another culprit we need to talk about, and it's hiding in plain sight. Your stomach has a natural defense system to protect these ulcers from forming. A slimy protective layer of mucus that coats its lining. So I want you to think of this mucus as a shield, like the armor that a knight would normally wear into a battle. It keeps those harsh digestive acids and enzymes from attacking your own stomach wall. This mucus is secreted by special cells in your stomach and it is being constantly replenished to keep that barrier strong because without it, your stomach lining is vulnerable and that's when ulcers can start to form. Therefore, you see that anything that weakens this mucus shield is bad news for your gut. And that brings us to a surprising player in this story. Pain relievers. You have probably heard of NSAIDs, right? Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, or diclofenac. These are the normal go-to pills for headaches, for fever, for muscle aches, and that nagging pain that you're having at your back. They are lifesavers for many, but here is a catch. NSAIDs can reduce the secretion of that very precious protective mucus in your stomach. How does it happen? These drugs block certain enzymes in your body that helps produce pain-relieving chemicals. But those same enzymes also support the secretion of that mucus. Therefore, we have a problem because less mucus will mean that you have a weaker shield, which now leaves your stomach lining exposed to those harsh digestive acids. Over time, taking NSAID, especially on an empty stomach or in high doses, can irritate or even damage the stomach lining, which makes it harder for an existing ulcer to heal or even worse, it will cause a new one to form. Why does this matter for ulcer healing? If you have an ulcer and you are popping diclofenac or other NSAIDs to manage back pain or to manage any other kind of pain, you might be stuck in a vicious cycle that never ends because your ulcer needs that mucus layer to repair itself. But NSAIDs are reducing the very protection that your stomach literally relies on. This can delay healing prolong your pain, and even increase the risk of complications like internal bleeding or even perforations. That's not to say that you should never take NSAIDs. Sometimes they are necessary, but if you have an ulcer or you are at risk of having an ulcer, always talk to your pharmacist or your doctor about safer alternatives or ways to protect your stomach. So there you have it, my friend. The surprising link between ulcers, your stomach's protective mucus, and those everyday pain relievers. Was this helpful? If yes, please give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe for more smart, simple, 
health advice that makes sense and would really go a long way to help you stay safe every day. Tell me in the comment section also, have you ever used painkillers for ulcer pain? Let's talk about safer choices together down there. And before you go, did you know that Postinior 2 sometimes fails to prevent pregnancy? Just click on this video on the top corner of the screen and you will find out. Alright, see you there.